All right, guys, we are back, and thanks for being patient, guys. You guys are some real soldiers, stuck around and waited. I respect, guys, respect to the real ones, and respect for the people who have been going to war for me in the comments with Reddit. And today, guys, we got a brand, uh, not a brand new strain. It's been around for a little while, guys, but I'm fucking excited to try it. I didn't know zebra cakes guys have you any of you guys tried the zebra cakes by revolution it's been around for a little while we got the usual suspects in the comments today and this is a cross between frost donkey and cake crasher guys if you guys haven't tried frost donkey it's a cross between gmo if you guys haven't tried gmo Stands for garlic, mushroom, and onion. It's got this real funky taste. And then they cross, and then it's a peanut butter breath cross. That's what Frost Donkey is. And then it's Cake Crasher, which is a cross between Wedding Cake and Wedding Crasher, guys. And if you just want to see the buds only and just close-ups on the buds, you as you guys know, they're all in the link in the description below. But we're about to go in on this. Zebra cakes, motherfuckers. Let's see what's to this. And if you don't know who the fuck I am, guys, we got a bunch of new people. I am the certified smoker, and shit's about to get real. We're about to smoke a sativa, testing at 27.38 THC percent total cannabinoids and 25.96 THCA. Let's see how fresh this is. It was packaged on 412 and it is 627 so about two months and third 12 third, 14 days old and the top terpene is myrcene limonene so i'm expe expecting a gassy lemon flavor and it's got beta caryophylline and linalool so when myrcene is the top terpene i normally get like a gassy uh skunky smell flavor to it and when it's limonene, it's like a gassy, and limonene is the top terpene in citrus or lime, hence limonene, citrus. Anyway, guys, let's see what's to this shit. And if you're fucking buying weed in Illinois and aren't subscribed, we have over 150 reviews. We do a review every day. Let me waste my money before you guys waste yours. Don't buy it until I certify it, guys. Anyway, we're a community here. We luck out for each other. And subscribe, guys. Fucking zebra cake. How loud right off the bat? Okay, nothing straight crazy. But this is what I was expecting. This cake crasher, I remember if any wedding crasher crosses are super frosty. This stuff looks it's kind of earthy, musty smelling, nothing crazy gassy like I was expecting off the jump. But what happens is lately, it, like I had to retract my Revlato from yesterday because when it aerates, it's it smells stronger later. If anybody's had that issue. Anyway, this stuff looks fire. It just, it's not trimmed that well, though. You guys see that? There's some leaf left on here. But it still looks fucking insane. Look at this shit, guys. And if you guys don't know how we... If you guys are new here, we have three certifications for strains. We have that lowest certification, which we call Garbaggio, which is literally the lowest certification you can get. And that means straight up in the Garbaggio. Does don't even smoke it. And then we got smokable. And then we got that certified smoke. This, and again, if you guys want to see really good close-ups, they're going to be in the shorts in the description below. But what do you guys think so far on the looks, guys? It's pretty, this is the cake crasher. Wedding cake crosses are usually, I mean, wedding crasher crosses are usually really frosty. Almost like fake frost, almost like fuzzy for some reason. I feel, I feel like these tur these um crystals are overabundant. But what do you guys see, guys? You see that frost? This stuff is a straight snowball, and I wish it was a little bit lo louder. I hope when I break it up, it's screaming at me, screaming my name. It's screaming, "These certified smokers, smoke me, you motherfucker!" 
And it's got, it's one of these peanut butter breath crosses. Anyway, let's see what's to this, guys. Bud structure wise, it is on point. It definitely isn't the prettiest of all revolution. Don't get, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm splitting hairs here. But like compared to like the peach crescendo or like the peach maraschino or even that gone swishing that I have, the smell is incomparable. I hope when I break it up, it screams at me. But I don't know because I don't feel it. Oh, no, guys. When I bake it up, a little bit of that limonene comes out, but right, but it takes a lot for it to pop out of it. You got to break it up a lot. But yeah, it's definitely in there. I have a feeling it's going to taste fucking. It's limonene and mercy, and it's a little bit of it combined. It's got that um, cakey, um, kind of citrusy smell in it. But on smell, guys, we're not going to go uh, that loud of a score. Just, it wasn't screaming at me. So on smell, to be honest, guys, we're going to go 6.7, guys. That's probably the lowest smell score on Revolution I've had. It literally is pretty close to non-existent. It's pretty surprising, guys. But I have a feeling it's going to fucking taste awesome. Has anybody smoked this in the comments, Zebra Cakes? It does look fire. It, what's up, um, Michael, Joanna, Kenneth? What's up, everybody in the comments? These are my peoples. What are you guys smoking on? And if you guys want me to review anything, let me know what you guys want me to review. Anyways, let's see what's to this shit. Fucking A, guys. We got that. Zebra cakes. Shit's about to get real, and I am the certified smoker. Let's see what's to it. Okay. I want to... I could definitely, it's so damn smooth. Wow, definitely tastes a lot better than it fucking smells. It's grown really well. I don't know what they did to it to fucking lose all the terps on it. They really fucked up on this damn batch. It could have been, you could have been perfect, but they fucked you up some way along the line. They skipped a step. They rushed it. I, here's my guess. They rushed the drying process, the, the curing process. When you rush the curing process, for example, you're supposed to dry weed in like a cool area, a cool rather than completely dry and hot. So it doesn't rush the drying process and, and just completely um, take out all the terps. And that's what I had a feeling this happens. It's very rare on Revolution. Anyway, let's see what's to it. One more hit. It, the ash turns completely white as soon as I hit it. That's when you know that there's very little fillers in here. And it's just straight fucking frost and um, terps and fucking THC and just not too much bullshit in here. Um, on smell, I mean on bud structure, it is on point. Could use a little better of a trimming job. It breaks up perfectly. So on bud structure, it really is perfect, guys. We're going to go 9.2. And on flavor, it could taste definitely a lot better. We're going to go 7.0 on flavor. Nothing crazy. The smell is so low, and they, they fucked up on some process of the terpene batch. The effect, though, that's where it's at, though. I definitely can feel that it's this is a. it feels more like a sativa-leaning hybrid. One more hit, guys. We're going to give it a, sativa, a score, guys. Hey, guys, what do you guys think? We're going to, should I start doing uh, live streams and we just all just chill and start smoking together? Late night, ch um, chill time, smoked. What are you guys doing? What's up, uh, jo uh, Jerry in the comments? Kenneth, what's up, fellas? What do you guys, I want to hear what you guys are smoking on. You guys like my reviews? Thanks, Joanna. Thanks for Dallas, man. I haven't seen you in a while. And um, the guy in the comments, he who won the Puffco Vision, I was hoping he's been a longtime viewer and he's he's been a, 
a real one too. So it's good that he won too, guys. So it's not just a random that won. So it's one of you guys. So that's kind of a good thing. I have a bu- if you guys are pissed off that you lost, I have a bunch of free shit. If you guys any of you guys live in the north suburbs, he's actually the winner. He's actually gonna come out here and I'm gonna give it to him in person. He lives in Wisconsin. I told him I'd hook him up with some extra goodies when he comes out here and to work with the concentrate for and he's gonna he's gonna bring his wife out here we're gonna go get some drinks hang out hey if anybody wants to come we i'm gonna have if anybody wants a consolation prize i have some shit i have extra that i'm never gonna smoke or ever eat i never eat cannabis oh dude i actually was gonna review an edible today while we did this as a bonus but anyway let's see hit it one more time we're gonna give this stuff an effect score Definitely really smooth. I've had the Frost Donkey before. Wasn't that big of a fan of it, to be honest. It tastes good. And now that second hit, right to the dome. Definitely a certified strain. Definitely certified. Effect is a lot better than anything else, but except bud structure. Effect, we're going to go... We're going to go... 7.7 on effect. It's definitely a damn good in uh, sativa leaning hybrid. It's definitely certified. Um, I don't recommend buying this though, guys, for all of the revolution options out there. If you're going to buy revolution or maybe this was just a rushed batch, just so you guys know, the package date was 412. The harvest date was 117. Don't buy this batch. If you guys see it in the stores anyway, guys, you guys know what to do. Leave it in the comments. If you guys want me to review anything, you guys know where to leave it. And I was going to do a, do you guys want me to do cart reviews, concentrate reviews? Do we guys smoke that? I'm not a big concentrate and cart guy. I don't know what you guys, how to really review them. What do you guys want me to do? Hold a bunch of goop and, or eat a bunch of gummies and be like, this is what me look eating a gummy looks like. What the hell is that going to do? But anyway, guys, Leave it in the fucking comments what you want me to do. I want to review some of the shit that you guys want me to review, guys. Anyway, peace the fuck out.